Fortnite Chapter 2 came in like a bang. I mean, like, literally, it was like, bang! Don't you guys remember, like, the entire black hole thing that took a whole two days to explode? But for real, man, there were a lot of good changes that came alongside the update. A simplified loop pool, all right, fresh map, and so much more. But like any other update, there are obviously going to be some glitches or just straight up unbalanced metas. What's going on, guys? It's the Motivation Guy. That's right. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I want to let you know right now that you got to keep your head up. You got to keep going forward. Don't be so hard on yourself. Stop beating yourself up all the time. I want you guys to start speaking positive about yourselves and around the people that are in your circle because we got so much going on this year and you got to take advantage of it. You really, really do. This is going to be the best year of your life yet. Are you ready? I hope you are. Connect with me as soon as you can on my Instagram. I'm posting up vids to inspire you guys to be great, not only in this game, but also in life. So, in this video, we're going to be breaking down the most requested changes that Epic Games needs to make with the Fortnite Championship Series. You know that competitive squad game mode that they recently announced is going to have a $5 million prize pool. Say what? Yeah, that's a lot of money. Can somebody, like, break me off something, please? Come on now. Yeah, with that coming up, Epic is going to have to listen to these tips in order to have a truly competitive game. If you guys think we're missing anything on this list, you already know what to do. Head down to those comments and let us know what you want to see added, and we might just give you a shout out. <laughs> you never know. Also, a lot of you guys are asking for a creator code, so we went ahead and we made one for you. Be sure to use code PROGUIDES in the item shop when doing any kind of purchase to support your friendly ProGuides Fortnite team. But before we get into that, if you guys are interested in getting better at Fortnite, which should be everybody that is watching this, then click the link below to go to ProGuys.com where you can play with the best players in the entire world, all right? By just clicking a button, sign up for our membership at ProGuys.com and you're going to get a ton of incredible content from the best pro players in the world like Benji and Mongrel. So if you want to compete in Fortnite, you got to check out ProGuys.com. Also, be sure to drop a like on the video and show your support. We strive to bring you guys the best content available. All right, guys, with that being said, it's time to relax, chill, and even take notes if you can, all right? And get my favorite candy if you could do that. You already know what it is. It's that bunch of crunch. That's what it is. And let's go. Up first on our list, ladies and gentlemen, is something that I feel like we deal with a lot, especially when a new season starts. Yes, everyone, I'm talking about <laughs> server performance. This seems like something that Epic Games just can't ever get right when a new season starts or a huge patch drops, as the server often feels slow, choppy, and generally yucky. You know, sometimes when I play Fortnite, you know, one of the most enraging things ever is when I die to someone that I know I can beat. Does that ever happen to you? It's like, what's going on here? Like, my whole world is coming to an end because I'm better than this player. All because the servers are lagging. I mean, guys, I'm not the only one dealing with these problems, right? There are so many other pro players that have been constantly complaining about the performance. There has to be something going on here. All right, so if you don't believe me, check this one out. My boy, Ninja, is also complaining about the performance. He said on Twitter, Okay, so when I was grinding the duo World Cup matches with Reverse, I took a lot of time and I practiced tunneling. I was feeling rusty, so I went into creative and playground to practice and it felt really, really clunky. Almost like my sensitivity was different for building somehow. Anyone else or just me? And you guys already know how it feels to have the performance be off in some way or another, man. Your edits fill off. You scuff them here and there. The builds are not even placing as snappy as you typically would like. I mean, it's pretty obvious that something is up here. Even Cypher, PK, agreed with Ninja in a response where he said that the game was fun but clunky. And honestly, guys, I can get behind that. I'm personally having a blast running pub matches with my friends, but once the novelty wears off, these performance issues will suddenly get a lot more annoying. Tifu's even going off on Epic by tweeting his stream out with the caption, Lag Olympics. Oh man, we can always count on old Turner to give us the straight right. I love it. Regardless of how clear it is that servers are bad right now, it seems like Epic is at least communicating with us about a few things, which is always good. On Reddit, an Epic spokesman confirmed that the servers were accidentally set to 20 tick and, in a hotfix, moved up to 30 tick. Wait, wait, wait a second. What is a tick? Are you talking about the little bugs that live under my bed? <laughs> little Bobby, welcome back. Hey, buddy. No, <laughs> of course not. Uh, what I mean by tick is, is the amount of ticks a server has in the video game world means like how many times the server refreshes per second. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yes. <laughs> so to explain it even better for you, okay, so take your monitor, for example. If your monitor is 60 hertz, you're going to see 60 different images per second. On 144 hertz, you're going to see 144 images per second. Now, think of the Fortnite server having a monitor of its own. The monitor with 20 ticks only gets to capture 20 images per second, which means more ghost shots or unrecognized moves. 
Games like Counter-Strike have a minimum 64 tick servers because there's a lot less going on in a game than Fortnite. All in all, that was one of the problems that Epic fixed. But the other problem is not server side, it's performance side. Epic messed something up which makes our computers less optimized to run the game and thus feel equally sluggish. But we know that Epic Games has a track record of taking server performance really seriously given how fast they patched server problems in the past. So I'm pretty confident that by the time the Fortnite Championship Series starts on November 1st, there will already be a fix. Moving on into in-game issues, the most pressing issue is all the explosives diluting the loot pool. This one, you've had to have seen this by now. Like every single pro is talking about it, or at least the very minimum, posting videos showing them getting grenade spammed. Okay, so check it out. Take a look at Tim the Tab Man as he gets absolutely demolished by a flurry of grenades. Oh my goodness. I mean, this is like kind of ridiculous. 23 grenades and a small Twitter clip? <laughs> wow. At this point, I'm going to assume that most of you guys have been playing the game and you see grenades everywhere. If you wanted to leave your drop spot with 10 grenades, it's pretty likely that you're going to get it. From a more competitive standpoint, the NA West superstars Edgy and Scented have been using this absolutely broken mechanic to dominate the meta. The actual technique they use is super overpowered for competitive play because they all spam grenades at once. To do this, put a marker on your opponent's base, make sure you're right around 65 meters away, right? And throw at an angle. If you and a teammate both coordinate throwing grenades at the same exact time, what's gonna end up happening is that the first grenade is gonna break the base, all right? And the second grenade is gonna guarantee to hit the opponent as it'll fire off before the turbo build can even register again. This, my friends, is absolutely broken. Like, given that competitive play revolves around turtling and basing up, is what makes this strategy, like, way too overpowered. And that's what we really need to discuss. I know it's on your heart, so let's just do it. The fact that there is absolutely no counterplay. Any well-developed game, all right, will realize that any action must have a potential counteraction to combat the power of the said action. That's a lot of actions, I know, but stay with me. When there is a risk-free way to guarantee any team goes under with no real risk at all, there's a glaring problem. There's absolutely zero defense in this meta, man. Epic Games either needs to reduce turbo build delay or allow wall replacements between grenade shots. Hey, or even simpler, just reduce grenade spawns. Actually, <laughs> there is one other option that would both create somewhat of a counterplay to grenade spam and also answer the community's prayers. You guys ready? And that is adding more mobility to the game. Yes. Now, before I can even cover the community's desire for mobility, we need to know the backstory behind Epic's games of removing all the mobility. Epic wanted to move the loot pool back to a very early stage of the game, a time where mobility wasn't even a thing. I mean, think about it. Basically, all of the guns are super OG, except some additional purple and gold guns. There's obviously a running theme here, okay? So we might see Epic slowly bring back the newer items into the game, which include mobility. Clicks, someone who actually has been quite positive about the Chapter 2 update, really only dislikes the fact that there is no mobility in the game. And honestly, I kind of agree with him. No mobility leaves us way more susceptible to the zone RNG associated with Fortnite. Having this in FNCS, which starts in less than two weeks, is going to be abysmal to consistent pros. Also, if Epic doesn't decide to address the obviously broken grenades and explosives in general, at least you could use mobility to get you and your teammates to safety. I personally suggest that Epic brings back launch pads only, given the fact that they were one of the OG mobility items for Fortnite. <laughs> Not only that, but they are way less disruptive than, let's just say, shockwaves. Those things were just so ridiculous, man. They were so annoying to deal with when you're on high ground in game, minding your own business, and boom, someone just breaks you down to your death with this shockwave. This is, at least in my opinion, a good compromise to keep the loot pool concise and still provide counters to some of the most broken parts of the game. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, this video would not be complete without addressing the massively overpowered and broken Slurpee Swamp. Okay, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, then that means you've been living under not one rock, not two rocks, but under a thousand rocks for the last week. Well, it's better if I just showed you, okay? Let's just do this. Now, our good friend Tracer is playing in a pro scrim match, all right? And since Slurpee Swamp gives you a slurp-like healing as long as you're sitting in the lake, well, you can see what's going on. While everyone else is fighting in the endgame, <laughs> the legend himself is actually chilling in a healing lake and enjoying the scenery. Wow, this is so amazing. He's eating fish, that automatically heal you 50 per, and bandage bazookas. Basically, anything that keeps his HP up and he actually gets second place. Okay, so imagine just cheesing your way to free placement every single game in a pro tournament. I'm talking about millions of dollars on the line. 
This isn't a joke. And what's worse is that it isn't even the most overpowered part of Slurpee. There is an exploit going around that glitches you into the lake and gives you maximum white health within a second, meaning you never die to the storm. Yes, even at 10 damage per second. Now, we're not going to show you this footage of the glitch because first of all, it's bannable. And second of all, I could lose my job and that's definitely not going to happen. And third, we just don't want to encourage that type of content on this channel. You know what I mean? So I'm going to give you this advice, all right? Do not search for it. Don't even try it. Epic is going to find out and they will ban you. Oh yeah, and you know what? I just thought of this. If you're watching videos on Pro Guides in the first place, then that means you're already gonna know how to get an earned Victor Royale. We're teaching you the best from the best. So, you know, this is something that we expect Epic to work on swiftly. And if not already hot fixed by the time we post this video, I'm 100% sure that by FNCS, this will be behind us. Like, if Epic didn't get this sorted out in the next week or so, I'm sure that the entire community is gonna be outraged. And who knows, maybe someone might try using it in a tournament. Oh my goodness, how amazing and how devastating that would be at the same time. All right, guys, so to conclude, I just want to make sure everyone knows that, you know, we're not trying to be too negative here. It's just, you know, lots of changes that Epic made were just long overdue, and I'm really glad we had this overhaul. I just think that they went a little bit too overboard and created a few countless scenarios, which is everything we covered in this video. Server performance, grenade spam, no mobility, and uh, a limited healing at Slurpee Swamp are all things that are out of our control. If these points get fixed, you know, I am positive that we're going to be in an incredibly solid state from a competitive lens. Once again, guys, it's the Motivation Guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm rooting for you. I'm cheering for you. This is going to be your best year yet. Connect with me on my Instagram. I would love to hear from you. With that said, those who are listening, type FOV slider in the comments so everyone else who watched until the end know that you did as well. Leave a like, hit that sub button, and all that stuff. Once again, we'll see you on the next one.